We, oh, I love you, Ed. You're yeah. just like another son. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Take okay. care, all right? Yeah, you, be, you too. Yeah. Yeah. So, You're all charged cool. up now, so you'll all be All charged right. up, ready okay. to go. All right, love. All right. Take care. Bye, Bob. First puncture of Australia then. I'm not really looking forward to uh, to fixing that. Do you hear that? That's the sound of failure. I failed to patch it. <laughs> there is air escaping from that tube. Ah! I'm not in the mood for this today, but punctures don't wait for you to be in the right mood to fix them. To be honest, there's never a time where I'm like, yeah, I got a puncture. 40 PSI will do. I don't hear any air escaping. Let's get on the road. I just did a U-turn on the road. I'm now going back on myself. Uh, I'll show you why in a second. All right, we can get through it. Woohoo! Right. No trains. No trains. Woo! And this is why I turned back on myself. I only went back sort of 200 meters or so, but I saw this road and it just looked too good to miss. And the best part is there's no traffic. So, yeah, I'll pick this road over the main road any day. This is amazing. Oh. The bitumen ran out and I find myself on a cattle track. But it's not too bumpy. Well, it's a bit of fun for now. <laughs> it's getting worse. It is absolutely getting worse. Oh. And it's getting wetter. I can feel the wheel sinking into the, uh, into the mud a little bit. But there you are. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta push yourself a little bit. And that main road was just, ugh, too many road trains. Cause that's the road that heads, that's kind of the main one that goes down to Adelaide. So it was really starting to busy up. <laughs> Makes a change, whoa! <laughs> oh, off-road unicycle touring, here we go! I was so close to coming down there. Oh, that wheel went so deep into the mud. <laughs> Look at that wheel, eh? That's a train. <laughs> gonna, gonna camp here today, I think. Somewhere around here. The main road is like 200 meters up that way. I don't want to go to it. So I'm gonna pop over here and camp. I saw your face. <laughs> so, not quite sure how much of that conversation you caught on the road there, but those are the, those are the people that own this this land and own this field, and I asked if I could camp here, and they said, yeah. So, got a really nice place to camp tonight.
It's the next day now, in the afternoon, and I'm back on the main road, which is, uh, it's not pleasant. It's really windy today. <laughs> but I've been looking on the map, and I reckon that in about 25 miles, I can head on to a smaller road. So 25 miles of bad road, heavy traffic, whatever, and then hopefully we'll reach some country lanes, and hopefully they'll be poved. Poved? Paved. Paved. Right, you buy them for $6,000 brand new, and it's just trumping along. I broke a chain out in the bush, but, you know, the chain's the weakest link. Ha 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 ha, the weakest link. Uh, well, you wouldn't have to worry about that. You don't have no. a chain. You're just straight direct, are you? Yeah, there's a lot of other things that can go wrong, and it's less so standard that, as well. So is there a gearbox in there? No, no, no. It's uh, just, just direct. direct drive, yeah. Wow. So what, what do you do when your chain broke? Uh, I'm pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I fixed it a bit and got it going, and sure. I got myself a thousand kilometres down the road and bought a new one. <laughs> <laughs> no one to help me. No, no, no. I'm... I'm not being cocky, but I can get myself out of trouble most times. Sure. Yeah. Or yeah. well, something will happen. All my mates, <clears throat> they get a bit shitty with me because they say, Oh, you break down, you need to join the RAA or the RAC or all this sort of guy. Man, I wouldn't meet all these interesting people if I joined that shit. You Absolutely, know? you don't want to just call someone up. Yeah, I don't call a prick up, I don't know. I want to meet someone, you know? No. What's the worst break you've had? Uh, no, no worse break. Just, um, I most funniest one. Do you ever watch Outback Truckers? You ever into No, oh. but I think I understand. I, I've seen Ice Road Truckers. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's an Aussie one. Yeah. And there's a real dickhead, a dickhead, who um, who was in the who was in the program, and um, sorry, I'm eating what I'm doing. No talking. worries. And uh, he was in the program, and I broke down in Norsebourne in Western Australia, and uh, it ended up I've been there four days, five days, and he eventually picked me up and brought me to this junction down here, dropped me off there with my motorbike. Yeah. Two days I had to put up with him. He was a he was a, he was a lion thieving. They actually put him in jail. Oh. <laughs> so that was one interesting. Yeah, moment. yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I've had a few other interesting ones where I met um, I met a murderer. Okay, was Rod he Con Roger Rogerson? Convicted? Yeah, he's in jail now. He came up to me. He was a copper in Australia, and he used to he used to kill bad guys. He'd take them out mm. the, around the back streets and shoot them or something. You know, I didn't know anything about it. I met him in a pub. He comes up to me and he comes up and says, "I'm Roger Rogerson, and I kill people." Wow. Yeah. Blew me away, and yeah. I didn't know who Roger Rogerson is, but I do now. <laughs> Hell of a chat up line, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a chat up line. He's a little shit like this. Tough as nails. Yeah. They put him in jail for killing, killing an Asian um, uh, drug kid or something. Wow. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, all good, all good fun. <laughs> all good fun. That was Beetle. He's uh, riding or planning to ride his motorcycle in the tyre tracks of the first woman, first person to ride a motorcycle across Australia. He gave me a sticker. I have to look him up. But it was yeah, nice to meet him. He has some stories. <laughs> That's Beetle, <laughs> and he's off. Oh dear. Yeah, motorcycles are only just a, a little bit faster than unicycles. Oh shit, here's a big one. Oh, this could be bad. <laughs> and I've got a puncture. Ah. Luckily it happened right by a petrol station, so they gave me a bucket of water. I found where the puncture is, so I just need to patch it up. But uh, it's a nuisance. Good news, got the wheel fixed. Bad news, it's, uh, it's dark. And I'm not prepared to ride on this road in the dark, because that's just stupid. So I reckon we'll be finding somewhere around here to camp. But first I'm gonna head into the petrol station and maybe charge a few bits and bobs up. Because why not? It's only like half six. It gets so dark so quickly here. 
it's about nine o'clock now. I just went in, had some food, and downloaded some videos and photos onto my computer. Uh, came out and discovered that I hadn't fixed the wheel, uh, and it still has a puncture. So that's a bit annoying. Uh, and I don't have a, I don't have another patch. I'm out of patches, which is stupid. And I don't have a spare 36-inch tube. So you're thinking, Ed, what are you going to do? Well, I don't have a spare 36-inch tube. But I do have a spare 29 inch tube. <gasps> That's the 29. Trust me, this does work. And this is a mountain bike one, and I've learned from the past that you can just about stretch these around the 36 inch rim. It's not easy, but it's doable. And that's that's what I've got to do now, because that's my only option. I I start this again. Halfway there. You're not doing around Australia, are you? You're just like an alien. Around the world. Fair <sighs> enough. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Woo! Did you see that? That's pinching it right there. And I can't, I can't shove that back through. I'm going to take the tire back off. It's 9.30 and I can't get the tire off. I've been trying for half an hour and I cannot get this tire back off to then put it back on correctly. It's just, it's wedged on far too tight. So, we've just got to keep going, haven't we? Because I haven't got another option. <laughs> and, um, yeah. A little bit of noise, just, just this much. But it is growing. It's, it's, it's growing. Ten o'clock, only just managed to get the tyre back off. That took me an hour to get that tyre back off. I don't know why, it's just it's just too tight and the, the, the tube is being pinched and it's... Right, so we're going back to plan A. Plan A is, uh, is fix the, the, the original tube, so the 36 inch tube. I just pumped it up and I discovered that the leak is coming from the patch that I failed to put on properly. So this will be easier than trying to replace it with the 29. So hopefully we can re-glue it in some way, because uh, this is my last patch and uh, I've already kind of buggered it up. Oh dear, I'm not going to get to sleep tonight, am I? I found another patch! I found another patch! Right. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yes! Now, don't go down. Don't go down. It's 10.30. Now I can go to sleep. That's one way to spend an evening. Want well, to hear something exciting? I'm about 15 miles from Adelaide, or rather the place I'm going to be staying in Adelaide. So I'm staying with a guy called Paul, and I'm about 15 miles away from his house. You were such a naughty nanny. Hey, big woman, you made a bad boy out of me, is that right? Let's get this, oh, I want you to take me home tonight. Oh, down beside your red by light. Oh, won't you let it all hang out. I wonder you make the rocket world go round. So I'm going to Adelaide. This, <clears throat> this is Adelaide, all right? This is, this is Adelaide. Yeah, it's kind of in the north. This yes. is Paul. And you got in contact with me God, months ago, right? Yes. Saying, hey, when you get to, to this part of Adelaide, you can, you can stay at my home. How did you find that spot? Well, because I've recently taken up unicycling, I was looking on YouTube and I found I was looking at people riding long distances yeah. and up, up your name come. So cool. just been following you for months. Yeah, can yeah. we see your unicycle? Sure. Yeah, not quite two years. A 26-inch Nimbus. Yeah, got it. And a brand new um, 
Fusion Freerider seat because I was having a few issues with uh, <laughs> yeah, the saddle sores, yeah. Saddle soreness, but that seems to have um, fixed the problem. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so I highly recommend those. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. All right. So my time here is going to be a lot of lot of fixing. So I had a bunch of stuff from you, so I can't arrive to this address. So we got two tubes. And this is the exciting one: a spare or a new uh, seat post. This is the old one, uh, the one that I tried to kind of bodge fix when I was in Sejuna. This is the completely new one, uh, which is great because this one was, you know, I was holding it together with paracord, and it, you know, it just about got me here. But it wasn't ideal, so we will sort this out. So thank you, Unisaga.com. Thank you, Peter, especially uh, for sending these out. Uh, completely free of charge, just supporting the rides. If you want to get a unicycle, because I know there's a few people that watch these videos that have uh, emailed me and messaged me and saying, "Hey, I've seen your videos. I want to get into unicycling." Go to Unisaga.com. They're all over the world, and they make the best unicycles. There is no other place to get them. So do that. Right. Need to fix this seat post. Couple of iterations, you know, just to make the edit a bit easier. You know, edit, edit, edit in the future, he will appreciate having a bit more to edit with. You know, oh, maybe I use this one, maybe I use that take. Oh, I don't know. Is it a movie? Is it real life? I don't know. I'm just filming stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Unicycling around the world, apparently.